So this is the infamous Gretsch Super Bass. Uh, I got this guitar quite a few years ago, uh, and it's it's a baritone guitar. So it's the sort of guitar that you would string up about a fourth or a fifth below a regular guitar. And uh, when I got this, I started immediately. I started stringing it as a Super Bass. So you can sort of see vaguely what what I mean by that. Um, if you look at those string these strings, you've got one bass guitar string. Uh, and then you'd have a series of, there's only three on this one, but you have a series of guitar strings. Uh, and the idea behind that is you can do sort of comping, you can have a bass line going on the bass string or strings, you can do chords and melodies on the other strings. So I used to gig this quite a lot um, when I was playing on my own and I wanted to add a bit of variety and make it sound like I was a full band, I had that sort of one man band vibe. Um, so the problem with this guitar is this Bigsby vibrato, which is all very, looks very cool and retro, but it's a real peg to, to, to string. There's little pegs on the back of that bar that you can't see, and you have to sort of twist the strings around at a very strange angle, and uh, you know all sorts of stuff is going on. So uh, I was trying to restring this, um, just playing around with different tunings, and those pinged off. All of those guitar strings pinged off, and I was in such a bloody-minded mood. I thought rather than just stringing it. I was going to do something about that. I was actually going to use this this unstringed uh, monster and try and make an interesting sound out of it. So if you can see now, what I've done is actually taken the strings that have pinged off and sort of wrapped them around, wrapped them around the other strings. So the other thing I did to keep this uh, really simple uh, was to tune uh, all of those strings to to one note. So you've got a low D, which is like the low D of a, a down-tuned bass guitar. Uh, and then you've got um, the next two strings are the low D of a down-tuned electric guitar and then the next string is a, a regular D of an electric guitar so you've got this sort of octave in D um, just to provide a sort of very simple bass line for the song I was recording so let's plug it in and you can hear what it sounds like so this is what we've got now um, I've kind of taken the strings away from the pickups because otherwise you get horrible sounds like that and I've kind of tried to keep one of these strings a bit loose so there's some resonance, but you get this lovely... I really like that sound. And it sounds to me like that, um, that thing in the, the sort of 60s sound where you've got like a, a bass guitar and a bass drum and maybe a tambourine or, or a snare drum all sort of doing the same thing at the same time. Yeah, so it's not something that you can use for every song but um, but I have used a song which is exclusively this and ukulele so that's going to sound pretty unfernal to most people um, but hopefully not. So look out for that song.